guess the best way of describing the research that my group and I are involved in would be research to inform policy on technologies and trying to understand the, uh, you know, trying to generate evidence on new technologies to, to support policy making. So these technologies have covered cancer technologies, stem cell therapies, now we're into uh, personalized medicine and uh, in a big project as well on uh, treatments for rare diseases, often drugs they're called, very expensive, and also a whole major project with Alberta Health which involves non-drug technologies, and, you know, IVF, uh, sleep testing, uh, surgical procedures and all that. Uh, one fact is that governments, not just in Canada but around the world, are uh, um, are being asked to be more evidence-informed when they make decisions. So many governments have instituted health technology assessment programs and centers around the world. What we are trying to do is to get the information that is uh, scientifically believable, that's not just a matter of opinion or taste, uh, that talks about, you know, does it work, under what circumstances does it work, who will it work for, what might it cost, what might the implications be on service, et cetera, et cetera. That's the sort of information that governments and hospitals need to have to make proper decisions on whether to get something or not. I think through the process, uh, every, I think about 30 or 30 odd technologies have been reviewed, maybe more, I can't remember. In all but one case, the decision made by the government was in alignment with what the evidence said. I'm Dave Menon, and this is Public Health.